today on the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries. I've hunted this pond before and had an encounter that's been ingrained in my mind for a long time. I mean, an absolute giant came in. I had always hoped to have a chance to get back on this deer again, and it looks like we're gonna have that chance. And then later, there's no absolutes, there's no guarantees, and I believe there's no 100% rules when it comes to tracking deer. There's what you believe based on past experience and time in the field. We're out in San Saba County, Texas. Wade is returning to a pond site where he encountered an enormous 10-point whitetail last year, determined to cross paths with him once again. I love water of all sorts. I mean, I love to fish as much as I do hunt, so I'm always drawn to the water. So when I can combine the two together and, and hunt near a water source, it doesn't matter if it's just an old crawdad mud hole or a beautiful stream or a, you know, a pond or a lake edge. I just, those are some of my most memorable hunts for some reason. And, and I guess it's gotta be because of that love of the water. You know, there's just so many game species that are, that are gonna show up around a water hole. But before we make our way out to the field, let's hear what Wade has to say about the TC Compass rifle he'll be using for today's hunt. You know, the Thompson Center Compass rifle, what a phenomenally accurate rifle that's very durable, built to last, that's not gonna break the bank. And, and that's primarily one of the biggest things I think Thompson Center had in mind when they launched the Compass rifle. When I talk to people nationwide, one of the most common conversations we have is, you know, I just want a good, accurate, whitetail hunting rifle. It's not gonna break the bank. It's gonna be able to perform in durable and rough conditions. I don't have to worry about scratching the stock or, or you know, damaging it, climbing in and out of the stand. It's just a, it's a workhorse. It's a hammer while it's out in the field. And I look at the Compass Rifle as, as that type of a rifle. You know, the Compass Rifle comes in a wide range of calibers. Uh, so that a guy, you know, whether he's varmint hunting or getting a kid or a young lady involved in hunting, all the way up to big game hunting in, in Africa or North America somewhere, they're gonna have the calibers they need to be able to perform. It's got a detachable magazine that's easy to use. You've got a three position safety. The bolt is, is perfectly aligned to be able to work it in those situations for a quick follow up. It's threaded if a person wants to put a suppressor on there. Easy to mount a scope to, incredibly durable. Not to mention the most important thing out of the box, it's gonna be accurate at that moment of truth, whether you're knocking down a doe for the freezer or shooting at the buck of a lifetime. This is always one of my favorite times of the day, going out, getting ready to go to a stand, the anticipation's high. Got an early morning rifle hunt here on a really neat pond. I, I've hunted this pond before uh, and had an encounter that's been ingrained in my mind for a long time. I mean, an absolute giant came in and kind of got out of there, couldn't get a shot, ran up a hill, ran off to the right, and uh, I had I always hope to have a chance to get back on this deer again, and it looks like we're gonna have that chance for the next few days to sit down here on this pond. There's a couple of deer running off there and uh, see if we can't get him in. I'm gonna be hunting one of the most legendary cartridges in the world. I'm gonna use the 30-06. You know, the 30-06, it uh, may not sound as sexy as it used to be, but you know, the 30-06 has probably killed more deer and big game animals and about any cartridge around. I'm gonna be shooting it out of the Thompson Center Compass, which is a great rifle, price point rifle that every day hunters across the nation can pick up and use. And uh, we're gonna sit down on this pond and get pretty comfortable, let the sun come up and let the deer tell us the rest of the story.
When you're hunting in the mornings, every minute is in your favor. When you're hunting in the evening, every minute that goes away, you're, you're losing ground. You're losing that ability to, to see. This being a morning hunt, I'm literally watching my watch thinking, okay, I'm gonna be able to see a little more. I'm gonna be able to see a little more and what's coming on the sides of us. And you can just see these deer out there as shapes moving around. Every now and then I can definitely make out a big rack. You've got all the different sounds, you know, on, on that particular deal. I mean, there's bass feeding on the, on the shallows in the grass. You can hear the frogs, uh, you know, the, the hum of the mosquitoes, the beginning of the sounds of the first birds chirping, uh, you know, deer walking through there. You can hear some snort wheezes. You can hear some grunting going on. Heard a little tussling off to the side. You know, if that to me, whether you shoot one or don't shoot one, that's the coolest part of, of getting up at, you know, 4.30 in the morning and riding out to the stand is just hearing that and watching nature wake up. While the sun continues to rise on this chilly morning, will our elusive buck make his return to the watering hole? Or will he continue to evade Wade? <laughs> Stay tuned. The Yamaha Whitetail Diaries is brought to you by Yamaha's proven off-road ATVs and side-by-side -side vehicles. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Garmin Zero. Leave the guesswork behind. We know if you found one crappie, you may have found a thousand. We know the joy of getting your boots back in the mud. We know the journey can be more rewarding than the destination. We know the great outdoors. We love the great outdoors. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Stop by today for huge savings on the gear you need and the brand you trust. Plus, free two-day shipping at BassPro.com and Cabela's.com. The all-new Yamaha Wolverine X2. With a compact chassis, perfect for exploring tight technical terrain. An ultra-quiet and smooth 850-class twin-cylinder engine. And next-level versatility with a 600-pound dumping cargo bed. No other side-by-side -side delivers this level of proven off-road performance. The all-new Wolverine X2 from Yamaha. Welcome back to the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries with Wade Middleton. The sun has finally risen, lighting up the area, and those dark shapes are now easily identifiable deer. Wade hopes to see the buck he's been waiting for. I mean, smoked it. That is a giant. I saw that deer last year when I was in here. And he walked out of my life up that hill. And he got down right here this morning. We could see him, and there's several deer feeding on the side of this hill by this pond. I mean, that's a giant right there. And the same thing last year, he got down around that pond, something spooked him, they all took off, run off. And, but this time he came back this way instead of going out and I had to take him kind of walking out across there. I mean, he got in that little valley right there walking the whole time and I knew this gun here. I mean, we've hauled it to New Zealand, we've hauled them around Texas, we've hauled them to many places. And I mean, they just shoot great. 30-06 was the caliber today and we're fixing to go put our hands on an old giant right there. Woo! Give me some rusty. <laughs> <laughs> oh man as i kind of look back on the hunt right now i bet i shot that deer probably within 20 yards of where i shot the deer the year before the deer i shot the year before was just up and slightly to the left of where that one uh, was taken at so that pond that little area you talk about special memories and good times and, and a history i don't think it gets much better than that this pond's been good to me. Full of fish, fun to sit there and watch them. Get them swimming away from the bank right now. Now I'm wanting to speed up. I can see antlers from here. We all know he's down. Look at that. 
that's a thing of art right there. <laughs> that is beautiful right there. Look at this. Oh, he's even got a little picker. Gil. I mean, that'll leave you speechless. I mean, look at those brow tines. I mean, that may be the longest brow tines of any deer I've ever shot right there. I mean, that brow tine is huge. I mean, look at those twos and the threes, the way they curve in. He's got mass all the way around. Kind of crab claws in on that side. <laughs> when you shoot deer like this, you end up being a little speechless at the end. You just kind of look at them and go, wow. I mean, those bases, I mean, I can't even get my fingers all the way around them. Holds it out to there. We got in here this morning to set up and you could see several deer out there just kind of milling around and, you know, really well before we obviously could even legally shoot. You could see their shapes and there was another really nice 10 and several other deer. You could hear them snort wheezing. There was fighting going on and when they do that, you know, they'll get to running around and spooking out of the area and changing position. And I just literally spent time looking at the ground. Then I'd look up through my binoculars waiting for it to get daylight. And they got to running, chasing and fighting. And next thing you know, they all kind of cleared out. There's probably a dozen deer in there. And then he came back down the side of that hill and just kind of kept walking and was working towards this little oak mot and i knew this little ditch was right here from last year and when he stepped up i mean he just gave me everything you could ever ever want perfectly broadside just right across the pond squeeze the trigger i'm shooting the tc compass with a 30 6 a cabela's hd instinct scope on there i mean everything's lit up perfect and the end result was dead right there of a giant buck well, after an exciting morning, Wade has come out victorious after dreaming about this massive buck for the last year. And that certainly is one beautiful 10-point Texas whitetail. The serenity of hunting across a pond reflects how rewarding it can be to get back to the basics. Well, as we wrap up and make our way back to home base, Wade has a few more thoughts on what he enjoys most about hunting, the legendary whitetail deer. White-tailed deer are so cool because they have such different characteristics. Every one of them is different. Every year they're different. Sometimes they're bigger, sometimes they're smaller. Sometimes they get some funky points. Sometimes they, you know, are just as traditional as can be. That's why I think, you know, white tail are, you know, North America's the most sought after game animal. I would argue that point for days just because you can hunt them in so many different ways, means, methods, and manners, and states, and locations, and they're all so cool. They've all got a unique character. They've all got a unique, uh, attitude to them. This particular buck is, is, I love these kind of deer where their tines are chocolate and they curve in. I mean, uh, what a buck, just uh, what a buck. Not only to fill the freezer, but to hang on the wall. The Yamaha Whitetail Diaries is brought to you by Thompson Center, America's master gun maker. Stealth Cam digital scouting cameras, proven. Conquest Sense, Hunt Sense and Dog Training Sense. High Vis Shooting Systems. See what you've been missing. How do you aim a 36 yard shot with a 30 yard fixed pin at a 15 degree angle with a seven inch holdover without moving a single pin? Easy you get one of these. Zero, the auto-ranging digital bow sight from Garmin. The thing about public land is that most people hunt the same old beaten path. The thing about you is, you're not most folks. Introducing the new TC Compass, only by Thompson Center. Follow your own compass with America's master gun maker. Welcome back to the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries with Wade Middleton. I think that the more I hunt, the more that I realize that um, 
things will happen the way they're supposed to happen. You can make the most absolute perfect shot and think that that deer is gonna be dead 25 yards inside that brush line and you get there and he's gone. And then I've seen those instances where a shot has been less than optimal and the deer die right in front of you. I mean, it's just amazing to look at how that goes down. And because of that, a person has to be prepared and understand the importance of how to track a deer, when to not track the deer, when to let him lay, and when, and when to call for help. When it comes to tracking, you can spend a lot of hours on your hands and knees looking for any kind of sign that'll help you recover your deer, but you can make some mistakes along the way if you're not careful. Wade and his crew still learn something new every time they go out in search of a deer, and they're gonna share with you some of the biggest mistakes people make and how you can avoid bumping a deer and losing him forever. You know, when it comes to tracking a deer, the biggest advice, and I, I break it my own self, that I could give is anybody is give it time, especially in an archery situation, give it time. Uh, back out of there quietly, uh, go sit down, eat a sandwich, drive into town, come back with a fresh mind, even if it's overnight, uh, and then start your search. Don't immediately go plowing into the woods right after a shot. You know, after you make your shot, tracking the deer is where you really start putting together the information if you don't have a camera to look back on to see your shot placement. The arrow or the area that you're starting to track in gives you a lot of information to, to really understand what's going on with that deer. Take it slow. You don't really want a bunch of people in there stomping around, especially getting out in front of you trying to track. While you're tracking blood, especially if it's not bleeding very good, if there's just a drop here to drop there, if somebody steps on one of them drops walking in front of you and smears it or, or just takes it off the, the leaf or the ground, you're not gonna find it. So take your time, go slow, don't get in a hurry. When you're looking at blood, you can kind of identify pretty close to where that deer's been hit. You know, if you're seeing uh, the brighter blood, that's what you're wanting to see, the brighter red blood that looks like, you know, come from the heart or from the lungs. Uh, a lot of times, lung blood will have some bubbles in it, you know, a little bit of bubbled up stuff. Uh, when you start getting into that dark blood, that's when you need to start thinking about backing out because that's usually liver hit back too far. Uh, that, that's, that's not something that's good to see. You know, don't, don't always mean that you're not going to find them, but you, you want to identify that blood. Look at your arrow if you shoot him with an arrow. Uh, see what kind of blood zone it is. Is there a lot of blood? Is there just a little bit of blood? You really want to see that bright red blood on that arrow. That's when you know you made a good shot. If you're in soft ground, Pick up them tracks. You know, you can you can tell running tracks from walking tracks. Fresh dirt kicked up, you know, if it's not muddy, if it's just dirt, fresh dirt getting kicked up, you know that's a fresh track. May not be the right track, but at least it's kind of giving you something to go on. Deer like to go in a thick spot and bed up. I mean, that's where, especially if they know they're, they're gonna expire soon, they will normally try to get in the thickest stuff they can and just bed down and I guess, I, I don't know what they're thinking. They're thinking, you know, if I lay here long enough, I'm gonna heal up or, or what it is. Um, if you find them in the open, then I mean, they're just, they were running and died while they were running. But most of the time, look in them thick areas, the, the thickest stuff you can find. When we return, we'll tag along on a hunt where the crew spent multiple days tracking a single deer. The Yamaha Whitetail Diaries is brought to you by Smith & Wesson Performance Center. Performance when it matters most. Sawyer, we keep you outdoors. Angle Coolers, the original high performance cooler. Protect it or lose it. 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 Protect it. Or lose it. Protect it or lose it.
Welcome back to the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries with Wade Middleton. Scott Newby of Yamaha Outdoors is headed out on his first handgun hunt. He showed patience on the first day when a great buck was just a few yards out of Scott's comfort zone, but he was confident that the same buck would return, and he did. He just randomly came in from our left, started to slowly work his way in exactly where I needed him to be, exactly where I wanted him to be, and just had to make sure I gave him enough time to you know, get comfortable, get situated, as well as me, you know, making sure that I brought my heart rate down, that I got comfortable with the shot, got comfortable with my shooting position and everything too. And man, right when uh, he started to come off to the left a little bit and had a, uh, had a tree in front of him and started to come right back around to the right, thought it was perfect, everything was good, and slowly just squeezed off that round. Smoked that sucker. I think so. Did you send that near? I mean, just elated overall, and and just jumping up and down inside. And of course, just see him kind of get right back up and and take off to our left, and thinking that it's going to be just you know, just a couple yards, no big deal, no no tracking whatsoever. And so after time passes, getting up to go track him and. Not having that initial sign when you go to where you shot, there's always that voice in the back of your head that just went, oh no, what happened? I mean, there's, there's no worse feeling than not finding your deer. And that was my first, I mean, the, the first one that, I've, that I was unable to find, and it's rough. I mean, it was sleepless nights, you know, and, and just going through the whole entire routine over and over again thinking, what could I have done better? What should I have done better? Because that's the last thing that I want is to not be able to, you know, just find them and you know be able to, be able to just see them, hold them up, and everything. I mean, makes you wonder, you know, what happened to him? Where's he at? It's one of the most painful, difficult situations in a deer camp. Morale is going to drop when. Somebody hits a deer and you look and you can't find them. I mean, you just can't find anything. Everybody deals with it different. There's no magic word to make somebody feel better. Uh, you know, I always go by the, the old topic and conversation of, you know, if you hunt long enough, it's going to happen to you. You know, and there'll be some guy out on social media on his keyboard right now going, I've never lost a deer and I've done this and I've done this. Good luck. Congratulations. Hunt a little longer and it may happen on the very next time you shot. And if it does, I hope you find that deer because it is a gut-wrenching feeling for hunters that have lost a deer or wounded a deer. And you really hear new hunters stress on it. I want to do right by the animal. I want to make a good shot. They strive for that. They practice for that. They spend time in the summer doing that. Um, I'm the same way. You know, if I know I've got hunts coming up, I want to shoot my bow all summer long. I want to get ready. I just, I want to do right by the animal. I think every good, uh, caring person, hunter in the world that uh, wants to do the same thing. Well, that'll do it for us here on the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries. We'll see you next time. Feed your need for speed. The Nitro XRT unleashes speeds up to 470 feet per second, producing 25% flatter aero trajectory, resulting in knock-breaking accuracy and unprecedented knockdown power. The world has never seen a crossbow this fast, accurate, and compact. The Nitro XRT from 10 Point. We plan all year for this. We hone our skills. We have confidence in the gear we choose. We pour over thousands of images and videos. When the time comes, will you be ready?
Introducing the all-new 4K camera by StealthCam. Proven. Many said that we were just obsessed when we started. That there had to be an easier way to smoke food. As time passed, the Bradley family created a lineup of Bradley electric smokers that has made it easier for the novice or even expert chef to get perfect results every time they use it. Grab yourself a Bradley smoker and take your cooking to an all new level. For precise prescription eyewear, Wiley X knows there's no room for error. We meticulously craft our own prescription lenses to fit our high wrap frames. And our ANSI safety rated lenses are tested to uncompromising standards. Nothing but precise. Because precision is everything. What does it take to make Evercom deer scent? It takes a deer farmer who raises whitetails. It takes mixing the special blend of Evercom testing each batch. Smells like deer. And then pouring each container. Each container is cleaned, examined, and packaged for shipping. It takes the finest deer herd and a great team of people to make the best hunting scent available. Evercom, from Conquest Scents. Want to know why the top shooting pros choose HiViz? HiViz has an enormous lineup of sights for every shooting platform possible that are clean looking and easy to mount. Improve your shooting with faster target acquisition and eliminate cross-eyed dominance. HiViz sights are the brightest out there, helping you find your target with ease no matter the shooting conditions. Choose the best, choose HiViz, and see what you've been missing. Nobody likes crawling, creepy, or flying bugs. So ward them off with Sawyer Permethrin. It's more than a repellent. This odorless spray repels and kills mosquitoes, ticks, and more than 55 other kinds of insects. Sawyer, we keep you outdoors. We demand a lot from the products that we use on our adventures around the world. When it comes to keeping things seriously cold, we rely on Angle Coolers, who have for over 50 years kept things cold. Angle Coolers, the original high-performance cooler.